the sound of favor and abundance please write it down the sound of <laughs> goodness first kings 18 41 first kings 18 41 and elijah said unto ahab get thee up eat and drink for i hear i have been hearing sounds before but this one is the sound of abundance there is a sound of abundance there is a sound of abundance there is a sound of favor in second kings chapter 7 give us from verse 1 please second Kings 7 remember this was in samaria there was famine it was an economic situation the bible says and elijah said hear ye the word of the lord thus saith the lord he said tomorrow about this time shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel now you see the prophetic dimension it does not act like there is any challenge you see you know god is speaking because he speaks to men like he's speaking to himself god can talk to you as though there were no obstacles around verse 2 two of that scripture it says the lord on whose hand the king leaned answered the man of god and said even if god will open the windows of heaven might this thing be and he said behold thou shalt see it with your eyes but you shall not eat thereof are we still together verse 3 we're reading to 8 very quickly and there were four leprous men now watch how prophecy comes to pass that out of all the people who could be used to make that word come to pass god would come to leprous men they were entering at the gate and they said to one another why sit we here until we die verse 4 if we say we will enter the city the famine is there in the city and we shall die and if we sit here we shall die anyway now therefore come let us fall upon the host of the syrians if they save us alive we shall live and if they kill us we shall die and they rose up in the twilight to go into the camp of the syrians the bible says and when they come to the uttermost part of the syrian behold no man was there what happened for the lord made the host of the syrians to hear a sound these were warriors and the lord made them to hear a sound and a noise of chariots a noise of great host these were four lepers what sound could they possibly produce and they said to one another look at what happened to their minds they began to suggest things that did not exist and took action after their, the error of their imagination they did not even verify they just concluded that the king of israel hired the the kings of the hittites and the egyptians to come upon us verse six seven now wherefore they arose and fled in the twilight and left their tents horses asses even the camp as it was and fled for their life verse eight and when the lepers came to the uttermost part of the camp they were into one tent and did eat and drink and carried then silver and gold say prepared blessings and raiment and went and hid it and came again and entered into another tent and carried you, you can imagine what happened because there was a sound that somebody will hear a sound in his spirit and call you and say um i said in 2019 that i will attend to you have i attended to you already because a sound There is a sound of abundance and there is a sound of favor. If you do not believe this, get ready to use your life as a, an experience and a lesson for the generations to come. Because I assure you, if you lack the favor of God and you do not understand the mystery of abundance in this season, you are already at the corridors of compromise. Are we together? Yes. The number one reason why people succeed is because of the favor of God upon their life. And there are three biblical indices that attest to the presence of favor. Number one, unusual kindness. Number two, unusual access. Number three, unusual acceptance. These are the three biblical indices. 
And you may have heard me say, if it is favor, it never happens once. Mm -mm. If it happens once, that is breakthrough and not favor. Favor must reoccur again regardless the current circumstances. Exodus 3.21 And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass that as ye go, ye shall not go empty. Esther 2.15 The B part says, And Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. Are we together? Psalm 44 and verse 3. It says, They got not the land in possession by their own sword. Neither did their own arm save them. It will take more than savings to be established. The hand of God must rest upon you as touching his favor. And in the name of Jesus, God is releasing that sound tonight. The sound of the abundance of rain. In this kingdom, who hates you does not matter. But who likes you matters. Because God blesses men through men. It is true. The king sent for Joseph, not God, and they brought him out of his dungeon. Kings, men can redefine the possibilities in your life. There are, I've, I've said it again and again, that there are men you cannot cast away. You only pray for favor to pass through their gates. It says, when a man's ways pleases the Lord, he makes, there are some enemies you cannot pray away. They are gatekeepers. And even God recognizes them. You will pray for favor. You try to fight with them, you are, you've, you've failed already. Because as bad as they are, there is a covenant bigger than them that protects them. How would you have casted Pharaoh from Egypt? No, God had to give Joseph favor with Pharaoh for him to rise. So that we don't play pray blind prayers that are products of ignorance let me tell you there are men who are gatekeepers and even though they are cyruses god has found out that their position at the gates is more profitable as far as his purposes is concerned he will leave them there